a male lion, king of the jungle. Or is he? In fact, it's the queen who actually does all the work and should be chief contender for the crown. The migrations in the Serengeti, northern Tanzania. Our queen-in-waiting is in attendance. So is the king. As usual, she's active, trying to go unnoticed among a large herd of zebra. As usual, he's resting, hoping she will catch him some lunch. If she lies low, the chances are they will forget she's there and gradually drift closer. The zebra are in no danger from him. She's the threat. Patience is key, and the lioness must wait for precisely the right moment if she is to have any chance of success. She creeps forward slowly, having spotted her victim. It's now or never. Lions are only successful 30% of the time. A pride of females, their responsibility is more serious than just having to hunt. They have cubs to look after. Cubs are the responsibility of the whole pride. except the male, of course. His duty ended after mating. It is an extended family with sisters and aunts all taking part in the bringing up of the young. Lioness will even allow another's cubs to suckle from her. But now the cubs must start learning a new diet. Meat. Again, the lionesses are back to work, working as a team this time. young family look on and learn. It's a classic pincer movement. The warthogs are distracted by the one female while her sister moves in from behind. Unsure of which way to go, the warthog is no match for these seasoned campaigners. <coughs> Hungrily, the rest of the pride moves in. The cubs, too, are eager to taste red meat. Thanks to the lionesses, they feast hungrily. They do not waste time because they know that when the male decides to join them, they will have to move away and let him have his fill. He is, after all, the king. 